I am on a mission today. I just don't want to spend an arm and a leg for something that, like that, that's going to be super just decorative. This would be tough, but I did not think, I thought I would have some luck. This is rough. Never give up on your dreams. <laughs> guys I am on a mission today I am canvassing all of Los Angeles I basically I made a list right here of all of the major thrift stores in Los Angeles I've just I've planned a route that I'm going to I am looking for one thing and one thing only and that is books I have a project coming up where I need books and not just any books, but I want old looking books. I know I can go to any Goodwill and find a Tom Clancy or a David Balducci novel. I'm not looking for that. I am looking for old antique looking books. Now I'm breaking the basic rule of thrifting, which is never go to a thrift shop looking for something specific because you are never going to find it. But I'm hoping because I'm not, I'm not being very particular. I don't really care the color. I don't really care of the quality. I just want old looking books. So I'm hoping because it's general enough that I'm gonna get lucky. So I am like devoted today to really crack down and just specifically look for this thing affordable i obviously don't want to buy like a 20 dollars book and have to buy a bunch of those specifically why i'm going to thrift stores but i feel good i'm keeping it positive i'm gonna find these but i would love to do this for cheap 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 and if i wasn't in la this would be so easy but in la everybody snatches everything up real quick anyway we're on a mission and we're gonna make it happen Think positive thoughts. Let's go. Okay. expected lots of Dan Brown novels, Danielle Steele, but no old stuff. On to the next. I had my um, stores mixed up because I was literally parked at an intersection. I was headed to one. I was parked at the intersection. I looked to my left and there was another one on my list that I I guess it was just gonna completely pass. So uh, I pulled over and I'm gonna do that one now. Okay, I'm gonna try one more of the Goodwills because it's literally like two blocks away and I was already on my way to it. If that comes up completely short, which I have a strong feeling it will, I am gonna cross any kind of big chain thrift store off my list because I figured already, but I mean, obviously the books that people donate, they're looking for something that at least looks like quality so that they can sell again. And I'm looking for something more beat up antique really old and obviously that's not stuff that they're gonna have so I need to focus on the more like localized thrift shops so I really don't want to have to go to antique stores for this because 
for books that I just want to be decorative. I don't even, like, I'm not <laughs> interested in reading any of these. I mean, unless they're good, whatever. I just don't want to spend an arm and a leg for something that, like that, that's going to be super just decorative. <sighs> All right, I'm going to try one more, and then I'm going to cross the rest of those off my list and just focus on the big local thrift shops. Okay, so it was basically exactly as I was imagining. It's just a bunch of Dan Brown and Danielle Steele novels, uh, which is fine. Uh, it makes my list shorter. Um, actually, in most of the Goodwills and like out of the closet stuff, we're at the beginning, all kind of in this area of town. I have one more out of the closet I want to look at just because it's like their superstore and it's I'm on that side of town already so um, I might as well check it out. I can look for the books I can see anything else I've just never been and I've heard it's a decent one. But then we will go to the more localized one the St. Vincent de Paul and other um, bigger ones that are not as commercial commercial for a thrift store I guess. So that's the plan of action but um i knew this was going to be challenging in a lot of places. I was just in Nebraska and we went to an antique mall and there were tons of old looking books that were cheap around there. And maybe it would be cheaper to buy a bunch of those and have it expensively shipped all the way out here. But in LA, for some reason, it's not an easy task to find these. Like I, I have been looking. Fingers crossed. I also did like a 18 point. <laughs> Parallel parking job. This is actually one of my favorite books. If any of you have a chance to read it, it is. So beautiful. Hot, hot victory! I got one. <laughs> uh, it's my least favorite color, yellow, but I love it. It's exactly the style that I'm looking for. It was three bucks. So okay, that's one one down even the ones that look older that have like a dust jacket on i take the dust jacket off and it's been like you know preserved enough that it doesn't really look old uh so uh this is literally i got so excited when i found this one on like a really really low shelf one one down um all right we're gonna head downtown to the saint vincent de paul one it's massive Fingers crossed that, you know, just one book made me feel so much more optimistic about this whole mission. That was way closer than I thought it was gonna be. Each of these stops have been like six minutes away from each other. It's kinda nice.
guys. I was feeling way more optimistic about this one and nothing. Okay, so this next one is a Salvation Army, which I don't have a lot of faith in. Um, so if this is a no-go, then I am absolutely taking the other Salvation Army off because it's in like Santa Monica and I'm not gonna drive all the way out there and get stuck in traffic if I think the chances of me actually finding something are slim to none. So I'm trying to be optimistic still, but my pessimistic side is winning. Like I'm going backwards. They had the worst selection so far of all of them. Uh, I'm definitely not going out to Santa Monica. Oh well. So I th there are two or three that are like on my way home. I've already kind of spent circling back. So I'm gonna hit them because they're on my way home anyway. Um, I really honestly, I knew this would be tough, but I did not think, I thought I would have some luck. This is rough. You know what? I'm, I'm literally, I can see mood fabrics like right here. Uh, and I've had an idea for a sewing project for a while. I don't know if you guys want to see that or not, but um, you know what? I don't come over here that often. I might as well check it out while I'm here and then we will get back to this. So, sorry, uh, slight detour. Hold on a second. You know, it's been like a couple months since I, oops, my car. Done. Since I've sewn anything, I think the last thing I made was the trench, and normally I do stuff more often, but um, I've had an idea for something that I wanted to do um, for a little while now, and I feel like the universe is telling me because I just happened to park like right outside of Mood, um, where I get all my fabric, that I should uh, look into it, so let's do it. All right, sorry for the detour there. I just, I was in the neighborhood and might as well take the opportunity. And also I just got like super excited for that project. <sighs> I'll wait though, I one project at a time. Anyway, back to the task at hand. All right. dreams <laughs> look I it, it, honestly I was I was feeling so defeated by this whole day only found one book so far and this place had the smallest collection they had like one bookcase full of stuff and at the very bottom were I don't even know what it is watch it be something like terrible oh my gosh oh my gosh it's like I think it's in German or something. It's old. Love. Yellow 
fairy book. Look at, oh, this has like dust coming off of it. But this is exactly the thing that I was going for. Louisa May Alcott, Rose and Bloom. And then they have this big thesaurus that I love. It's really, really old school thesaurus. Yes! Oh, feeling good. And they were $3 each. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that feels so good. Obviously, I need a lot more than I got, but that is progress, and it makes me feel like I didn't waste an entire day either. Woo! I'm so excited. I remembered that there was one place literally on the block right next to where I live that I never go into. It isn't out of the closet like I've been a couple times, so I'm not holding my breath, but it's a block away from my house. So I'm gonna go home and I'll check that one out. <laughs> I feel so much better, honestly. I was about to feel really depressed if I didn't find more than one book this entire day. So, um, yes, let's go. Made it home. I honestly feel I should quit while I'm ahead because that last place was such a win for me after all of the losses I've been having today. Um, but I live a block away from this last place. I'm gonna walk over there, just check it out. I honestly, I don't think I've been in there for years now and I live a block away. Check it out, see if they have anything that I need. If not, calling it a day. So uh, no luck on that last one. We're just gonna pretend like it never happened and we're gonna say the one before that was our last one and end on a high. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. Um, I still need to get more books. I think I'm gonna go to the Long Beach Antique Flea Market. It's this Sunday. I think I'm gonna do that. Obviously, if I do, I'll bring you guys along. Maybe online, eBay or something like that. I don't know, there's options and I don't need them right now. The project is still a little ways away, but thanks for coming with me. I will see you guys on the next vlog. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, join the community. We do tons of projects along with these vlogs. Glad to have you here and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye guys.